Hi, it is Ayik Gam time again. So last night I was uh, chatting with a Wing Chun friend who told me that uh, by training the or practice the Xiu Lim Tao set, one will be able to develop this mindfulness and have this uh, some kinds of magic power which make one be able to handle uh, their Wing Chun under pressure, okay, or uh, be able to uh, do good in pressure tests of their Wing Chun uh, martial arts. Do I buy those kind of stuff? I like to tell you all I don't, okay? I don't buy those stuff. I call those stuff superstitious okay even though I have met the Zen patriarchs I have met many martial artists both uh, the Chinese martial artists and uh, uh, martial artists from other other country I don't believe in this stuff okay uh, so today I'd like to share with you. Let's get this straight. Uh, we don't want to get into superstitious. If we get into the superstitious, it's a dead trap. Okay. Uh, before <coughs> I share with you, I want to share with you this fundamental basic stuff so that uh, you need to remember this. Okay. So in Chinese, that is a term called Ru Men, enter the door. So it always say Si Hu Ling Jing Men, or the teacher bring one to get into the door. Okay. And so what is this get into the door? bring one or coach one get into the door is that about just uh sitting down there the sifu sitting down there and you present tea and you present the red package the more you give uh the more the larger amount of money in the red package the more you get into the door no that's not that that is a ceremony a chinese culture ceremony for respect but that's not that so, Ruman, enter the door or, or uh, get into the door, actually mean the basic attainment. Okay, basic attainment. Because in the training development of Kung Fu, if one do not have the attainment, the basic attainment, there is no way one can develop the art. It doesn't matter if it's Wing Chun or meditation or Zen or anything. As soon as it's Chinese Kung Fu, one need to get into the door, meaning attain the basic, the very basic. Only if one attain the very basic, one can, based on that basic attainment, to further develop because those who attain the very basic the fundamental basic one know what is the thing even though one is not advanced yet okay for example the most fundamental <coughs> basic of the human body human body, this physical body, is open. If one never been led to experience that open, open the joints, open the seven bowls, open. Okay? If one never been led or coached to open one single joint, then one will not be able to open the seven joints or seven bowls okay so it has to base on attainment 
Okay, so in enter the door or get into the door is about the sifu will lead one into the uh, attainment, the basic fundamental attainment. So so the analogy is like the sifu have the key, open the door, and then one enter the room via the door and one know, oh, this is how it looks like, this how is this uh this 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 room looks like. Okay. So the most fundamental for the human body is open. Okay, open the joints, open the bowls. Today we have plenty of people talk about this. Song. Oh, song is magic, song is this and that. But if you listen carefully to how they present the case, they one can screen them. Okay, whoever who have opened their body can screen them and see these people have not even opened their their, their, their joints or their bowls. They don't even have the most fundamental. So what did they train? How can they develop their Kung Fu? They can. If the body, the most basic fundamental body, cannot even open, the rest forget about it. The rest is 613.3, forget about it. Because one don't even know what it is. One have never get into that room. Okay? So it is very critical that the Sifu coach one in a short period of time, like for opening, open. 45 minutes, one be able to know the opening of the body. Okay? And because one know the state of open, one know exactly what it is, one can develop getting higher, higher, and Kung Fu get higher and higher, then one can know this physical body. Without the opening, one has no clue at all. Okay? And even after the opening of the body, there are different levels, depending on how, uh, how deep or how, how advanced one go in order to understand this body. Okay? However, what I stress here is if we don't even open the body or enter the door for that particular thing, that's hopeless. Okay. And just to illustrate that, uh, illust uh, illustrate that the, uh, the, 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 the level of uh, the opening of the physical body, you guys who watch my video just know that this month ago, before this book release, I tell everybody that the fit in Xiuling Tao has to be this way. Okay? This way. Not the pigeon toe this way. And not this way. And you know what? At that time, they are even my best, best friend who wrote me saying, what are you talking about? Are you crazy or what? For past 100 years, I never heard that people talk about the E.G. Kamel Ma have the fit this way. Everybody need to be this or this. Okay? And, uh, yeah, people who see Fu who is, uh, have uh, decades of uh, Wing Chun told me that it's not only single one person. Many are friends. And I go to the extent say, okay, try it. I reason with you why, try it. And many don't want to try it because they made up their mind because past 100 years, nobody said that. I say, okay, you can walk your path here. We, we know we can uh, part away. And usually I part away with people. Okay. And people might think I'm cold blooded. So you ask me, why do you, why are you so sure? Well, I'm so sure is because if your feet is not this way, okay, not slightly open like that, your whole body, your whole body joint is not going to open and you're going to park, parking, like the parking your car, certain of your joint. Thus your body 
the, 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 when you move your arm, your feet will not be able to synchronize with it. Okay? And in Wing Chun, there's no no, because Wing Chun rely on a jaw and rely on narrow stance and short uh, uh, bridge. So I tell people, I say, you know, if you think uh, this is not the path, you don't agree with me, fine. Okay, you can, we can part away. We can part away. And there's many people who, uh, who, who, who studied with me before I part away. Why? Because my idea is very simple. Either we follow the reality or we better part away because I do not need a fan. I do not, I'm not uh, start a fan club. And not because we are friend that uh, you support me. I don't want that. I want this is according to the reality. So anybody, you don't have to believe anything I say. Just go test it. Be in the scientific lab or anything. It has to give the same result. Okay? So to enter the door, to attain the, the, uh, the, 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 the basic is very important. Without that, how can I know? That it has to be like that. And also, via this, you can check for past 100 years how many people really know their body. If they don't know even this basic body, then you know they don't understand the thing. Okay? Now, after telling you, share with you about this going indoor, and you must get a teacher to show you the path so you'll be able to experience the very fundamental basic for the 613.3. Without that, it is kiss of death. Also the same, sticking body short strike, what it is. One need to be able to experience it uh, to attain the very basic minimum. Then one can grow from that. Meaning that one know the uh, momentum characteristic of the art, the mechanic of the art, the very basic. Okay, one don't want to become the, 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 the best fighter of the universe, but at least one know what it is. Okay. Now let's get to the topic. Training Xiu Lin Tao got this mindfulness power which is like magic, which uh, will, uh, will, 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 will give this power for one be able to uh, handle the, uh, the, the, the pressure, under pressure and so forth. First of all, I don't buy those things. And the one, the one thing I tell you this is, okay, I like to share with you is this. The Translation to the West, Xiu Nim Tao as leader idea is completely off target. The set's name, Xiu Lim Tao, is meaning the detail trainings or the training of the details or the uh, uh, essence of the details training. So why is all this detail, 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 Siu Lim Tao is detail training? Because Siu Lim Tao set itself is filled with a lot of details and we need to attain or get into the door of every details. If we don't do that, we couldn't even know that. The leg supposed the feet supposed to be this way instead of this way instead of this way. We can keep follow one the uh, to the other, walking into the circle like this for for for, for one thousand years and it's going to go nowhere. And it's stuck. Okay? So this is details. This fit details in the shooting town. If we don't even aware of it, we don't even experience of it, we don't have this fundamental of open. 
Forget about Xiu Lin Tao. So Xiu Lin Tao is not leader idea. It's not to do with mind. Mind is just a part of it. Okay, it's a lot of details. It is all detail in 613.3. Okay. So Xiu Lin Tao is really powerful because it is a technology and it a technology which can handle so much details and we know even per today the advance the technology meaning that the technology is getting into like today nano nano technology okay really details of handling it can handle so many things in so much details that is the the, the, the name of the game or the theme of the Shilin Tao sets. It's not about idea. Okay. The theme of Shilin Tao set is to be able to handle the details and details. However, one need to be able to enter the door of the sets or experience the most fundamental. In this case, again, one need to be open, know what is open. Okay. And now many people have a uh, actually uh, uh, message me, email me saying that yeah, when they after they stand this, their whole body feel very loose. Sure. Because you know open and now you know the proper way of doing things right away. When one stand that way, open up. It's gonna be loose. You don't have to be there, practice the repeat the mantra internal art mantra song 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 and go nowhere you know you look at the people who practice that internal mantra for song or you need to be song like internal art and and, and develop this and that look at them past 10 years where did they go if they still doing this and this and their body lock up you know they don't know what is song even they said so so Siu Lin Tao it's not about mindfulness. Siu Lin Tao is more than that. And in order to handle pressure, usually people make joke of uh, 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 Wing Chun saying that, you know, Wing Chun is good in, uh, in self-defense, but it cannot be used in MMA and so forth. Are you kidding? People who say this way, Wing Chun is too dangerous for MMA, it is uh, only for self-defense. That just tell one, one has no idea of Wing Chun Queen. How can I prove it? I prove it to here now. Anybody or any martial arts, one need to know the momentum characteristics and the mechanics okay and as soon as one know this momentum characteristic and mechanics it doesn't matter it is a sport MMA or it is a self-defense one need to be able to uh, have skill in the momentum characteristic handling and the uh, mechanics so in, in, in the positions of uh, momentum handling and mechanics, it doesn't matter what it, it, whether it is an MMA sport or it is a, it is a cell defense. Mechanics, mechanics, momentum is momentum. So the issue right now here is, do we understand the Wing Chun mechanics or not? Do we know the mechanics or not? If we, we don't, why, what is the point talk about cell defense and talk about uh, MMA? Okay, so just to illustrate for you, okay, further, so that you're clear. This is a bow and arrow. It has its momentum characteristics and it has its mechanics here, okay? This is our sword. 
okay, or knife. It has its mechanics and its momentum characteristics. Now, if you know this, the momentum characteristic and the mechanics, does it matter you use it in uh, in in uh, in self defense situations and uh, in uh, in MMA? Will they be different? That there's certain thing which you can use in the the sport, uh, but cannot use in MMA uh, in self defense and something which is using self defense, but uh, it is not be able to use in MMA. It doesn't matter. Mechanic is mechanic. Momentum is momentum. You know what? Those people who, who, who keep in saying that uh, Wing Chun is too dangerous to use in uh, MMA and uh, can only use in self-defense. You know what they think? Okay? Let me tell you what they think. They are thinking, Oh, I can poke your eyes. I can kick your groin. Those kind of stuff. But they have no idea on what is the momentum characteristic and mechanics. And now you have a problem here. Well, who cannot poke other people's eyes? Who cannot kick other people in the groin? You, you ask those MMA uh, fighters, they can do that too. Okay? So, it points out to this. All those uh, pressure tests and everything is, do we know the art we study, the momentum characteristic and the mechanic of the art we study? Do we train in that skill? The skill, okay? So, whether do we have the skill in the momentum characteristic handling and the mechanics handling of our art. It doesn't matter if this is Jack Kune Do, it is uh, BJJ, it is uh, Wing Chun, all have its mechanic characteristics and then the momentum characteristics okay, of the art. And if one is good at it, that means one is good at it. One have the skill of the particular art. Okay, and when whoever good at uh, Wing Chun, will be good at the momentum characteristic and the mechanics of Wing Chun. Okay? So, under pressure, one is based on this reality, this physical reality, to face the pressure. Well, there's still time which one cannot face the pressure. Well, if you face a cannon and you say, well, you know, my momentum characteristics which I have or the skill I have and my mechanic skill cannot handle that. I have to run because this is a cannon, okay? So, in order to face pressure, one need to know the momentum characteristic and the mechanic of Wing Chun and be able to handle them. So one be able to deal with what one is facing. So what is it got to do with mindfulness? One can have a complete mindfulness like the Zen master who uh, have this uh, all kinds of meditations and so forth. But if they don't know the mechanics and the momentum characteristic, they don't know anything about Wing Chun. They do not know about anything about fighting. Anything about fighting need to know the momentum characteristics and the mechanics. Be it MMA or self-defense, be it in K1, Kyokushins, or the, uh, the, in the cage. And we have to make an evaluation on ourselves, an honest evaluation. Our opponent have those type of characteristics in momentum and mechanics. And their body is conditioned that way. Can we face it? If we cannot face it, we walk away. That that clear. Okay. So that's what pressure. Okay, facing pressure or pressure test. Now, speaking of this mindfulness. 
90% above of people who talk about Zen mindfulness today have no clue on what is mindfulness. Number one, let me tell you this. Yes, in Shaolin, the ancient Shaolin scripture, it says that anybody who wants to learn fight, study fighting or learn fighting, one has to study the immovable mind. Immovable mind. Hutong Xing. Okay? So you can read the, uh, the Zen uh, writing in, in Japan. It is also talked about this Putong Xing. The issue here is this. The mind, which is Xing in, 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 uh, in, in Buddhism, in Zen, is not what the Western mind is about. So today everybody try to translate or Google translate or, or understand that sing of the Putong Sing or the mind of the Buddhism with the Western way of thinking and that are the uh, definitions. How can it be? The Buddhism mind means it is a non-dual of physical and mind of the Western. So mind in Buddhism actually is consists of the non-dual of the the, the, the the physical body and the mind of the Western definitions. So the Buddhism mind means the body and mind for us, okay, in, in the Western. That is the mind. When it's called mindfulness, then it means that it's aware of the body and the mind of us, okay, using our, our, our definition today. Mindfulness is not thinking, okay? Mind is not thinking. Mindfulness in, in, in Buddhism meaning, in Zen, meaning that awareness in both mind and body, okay, using today's, uh, today's uh, terms or language. So whenever we heard people talk about mindfulness, you put an equivalent, okay? Mean awareness of mind and body, okay? Then we at least get into the boundary, okay? And mind itself, mind, okay? We are not talking about Buddhism mind anymore. We're talking about mind today. Consists of Four function, awareness, thinking, visualizations, intention, consists of at least three state, which is the settle, the quiet, and the peace. Okay. So in Buddhism, when they call mindfulness, meaning that the mind part of the mindfulness, since as we say that right, mindfulness actually physical and mind per today's language. So when the Buddhism talk about mindfulness, it means that the mind of today, okay, today's language mind, be able to be really stable switching the four function, the thinking, visualizations, uh, this uh, 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 intentions, and awareness, they can switch very stably as, as, uh, as, as one intended. Okay? Now, looking back at this, have, everybody, have anyone tell you about mindfulness of the Buddhism in the ancient China means today, meaning that it is an awareness of body and mind have anybody tell you that the capability of mindfulness if we look at it in today's mind that the mind be able to switch freely on its four function namely the awareness thinking visualization intention with a stability okay which is 
could be sample stability, stability of a, a quiet level or stability in the peaceful level. You read ninety percent above none talk about this. And if one do not even understand there are four or no or, or, or experience there are four function and the at least three level of the state of stability and do not develop that, where is the mindfulness come? In fact, a lot of people when they practice Siulin Tao, it is tunnel vision, it is not mindfulness, it is a dull tunnel vision which they are, they are doing. Okay? So, that is what mindfulness today. How is that supposed to be like the Zen mindfulness? One couldn't even handle the mind of today. How can one handle the mindfulness of the what the Zen uh, uh, teaching is about? Okay. So that's why I say from the beginning, all this are superstitious stuff. Somebody says something, we just follow. Oh, uh, everybody has to do pigeon toe but they're not aware of this body. Oh, everybody have to have mindfulness, but they don't even know their body have the functions and the state of stability which they need to be able to handle. Or they never train on it. Oh, I have this mindfulness, I can handle the pressure. While well, one don't even know the mechanics and the characteristic momentum of the art. Like this weapon. So if that is not superstitious, what is it? Oh, uh, the Siulian Tao said it's leader idea. Well, somebody might call it leader idea for their, 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 their reason, but for Wing Chun, it doesn't even make sense. So there is, this is all superstitious. This is the stuff of superstitious, the ancient Chinese don't buy into it. The modern science don't buy into it. So next time when we talk about somebody, tell somebody, Wing Chun is uh, too dangerous for MMA. It is uh, for self-defense purpose. You know what? It's, it's better that we tell them, I don't understand Wing Chun. I do not know how to use it. That is at least an honest words. Okay. So the reason why I I wrote this is to show the mechanics and the momentum. The reason I wrote this is to show the details on it. For example, like yesterday when I'm talking about the uh, the, 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 the four uh, tools of uh, like uh, the Bong Sao or the, 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 the Tan Sao, which you can be uh, uh, tools of receive, uh, tracking, guarding, play with the force flow, you need the understanding, the details of this thing, enter the door in order to handle that. And for the mechanic of Wing Chun, you need to understand the basic. Otherwise, what are we studying? Otherwise, are we studying Wing Chun? Or we are just, uh, we are just following a code? Okay? So, uh, this is uh, to share with you today. I know this is uh, probably very heavy for some, somebody. But you know what? Somebody have to say something, right? Why do... We, why do I want you to waste your life following superstitious and going nowhere? So it's like a lot of people who study with me and I say we better part away if you continue on to do this. Because I don't want anybody be my fan and I go completely into wasting a life and completely doing something which is not good for themselves, not good for, for Wing Chun. Okay? So this is to share with you today.